Margo Calderon, and I teach kindergarten, and today we'll be doing a message time. We will be doing a math problem, because once a week we do in, uh, incorporate our math curriculum into our message time. So we're learning how to problem solve. So we'll do a word problem, problem solving today. Um, the first thing I need you to do is stand up so we can do the word ball dance. And I can't, where's my pointer? Does anybody see it? Oh, okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, new words. So if you can read it, that's fabulous. If not, don't worry about it because we'll practice. We'll do the word wall dance. Okay, but I know how smart you are. Hold on. Wait till I get there. And then pretty soon, eventually, you will start to know the word. Anybody know this one? Four. Four. Very good. Ready? Everybody say four. Four. Give me an F. 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 You got your F. You got your F. Give me an O. O. You got your O. You got your O. Give me an R. R. You got your R. You got your R. What does it spell? Four. Four. Now, this word we haven't actually had as a word wall word, but we have used this word before. What's this word? How smart are you? And it's not even one of our word wall words yet. Ready? <coughs> Give me a G. G. You got your G. You got your G. Give me an O. O. You got your O. You got your O. What does it spell? O. New one. But if you stretch it like a rubber band, this one you will be able to figure it out. Ready? So let me let them stretch it first. Go. It's a sh it's um long e. It says its name. Ready? Go. E. No, it says its name. E. Ready? Go. E. What's the word? H. E. Very good. Give me an H. H. You got your H. You got your H. Give me an E. E. You got your E. You got your E. What does it spell? E. Good. Went. And I kept this up because I knew I was going to need it for something. So we do know this one already. Ready? Go. Give me a W. W. You got your W. You got your W. Give me an E. E. You got your E. You got your E. Give me an N. N. You got your N. You got your N. Give me a T. T. You got your T. You got your T. What does it spell? Went. Now. We just recently started doing the short vowel sounds. And remember I told you when we started doing this? Oh, short vowel sounds. We never taught them in kindergarten. But now, show me how well you've already learned these. And we've really only been looking at these pictures for a couple of weeks. If you do the actions the way we practice them, it will help you. Because when you're sitting by yourself and you're doing your journal, and you go, cat, and you go, Ah, if you, if you use the movements, so if I throw you cat, ready, go, cat, no, stop, 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 I'll throw, catch it first, ready, go, cat, 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 and so what you did was you stretched it out, but if you do it, ah, what letter is that? A, A. see how brilliant you are, ready? I can sing my vows for you, and you can sing them too. Long vowel first. A. Long vowel first. A E I O U. A E I O U. A E I O U. And you can sing them too. Short vowels. Ready? No. Now we're going to do because those are the short vowels. I can sing my vows for you, and you can sing them too. Sing them too. 